Abner, Pennsylvania. Brian is another example of somebody who was in this audience just watching the show. Right, came with your daughter-in-law. Is that right? That's right. She dragged me along to a to a taping. Said, Brian, you got to try this. I mean, you're you're the one person I know who can pass the test. And you did pass the test. And then a few days later, you get the call to come on down and be here. Got a call last night. And here I am. Th there you go. How exciting is that? Well, way it's, exciting. It's way exciting. Yeah. As you said, your daughter, one of the your younger daughter, would say about your experience. You have two kids. Still at home, right? Still at home, right. I have a third oldest son, obviously. Yes. And obviously, I would think college is looming and bills and all of that. Yes, she's taken a shine to the University of Pennsylvania, which is... Amen. Yeah, that's yeah. an expensive... It's a wonderful place, but it's expensive. Yes, it is. Well, then we got to get cracking, but I want to say a quick hello to your wife, who's in the audience. Judy, nice to see you. Hi. Looking beautiful in your purple. Thank you. And I want to tell you, Brian, that because you have 25000 you know you get that fourth lifeline which is a good thing. Switch the question. If you don't know the answer at any time, switch out of it. A very good thing. Are you ready to keep playing? I am way ready. Okay, we're ready. Way ready. Let's go. Oh, way ready. All right, Brian. For $50,000, offshore rigs located in the Bay of Campeche produce more than two-thirds of what country's oil? Venezuela, Indonesia, Mexico, Brazil. What? Um, no more than 60% sure that it's Mexico, so I'll ask to change the question. Okay, let's see what the answer was. We're going to switch out of it. It was... All right, it's okay. We have to say bye-bye to that one. Right. And we're going to look at another question, please, valued at $50,000. 50000 in Jeffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, why are the characters going to Canterbury? To escape from war? To visit a shrine? To attend a fair? To avoid a plague? Uh -huh. Well, what I recall from high school English all those years ago is they were pilgrims. So if they were pilgrims, then obviously it's not A or D, and you're not a pilgrim to attend a fair, so I will have to say, since I'm out of lifelines, I will have to say B, to visit a shrine. Final answer. Very good recall, Brian. You better write for me. Well, that's one year, I think, at Penn. Uh, that's, that's a year, yes. <laughs> yeah. Going for $100,000, Brian. In the iconic Disney cartoon Steamboat Willie, Mickey Mouse employs an array of animals to play what folk song? Oh, Susanna, Dixie, Little Brown Jug, Turkey in the Straw. I would... Nothing is even beginning to twinge other than turkey in the straw. But how much of a twinge is the is the issue? <sighs> you know, if I could narrow it down to two, I would have taken a guess, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to walk on this one. Is that a final? That that's a final. So you're gonna walk at fifty thousand dollars. Walk. I didn't say I was upset about it. <laughs> Let's see what the answer was. It was turkey in the straw. Oh, my gosh. Oh. But, hey, you have $50,000. Oh, Sit there and enjoy it for one second. Don't Thank go you. anywhere. And you folks stick around because we're going to show. Lindsay Ellis <laughs> 15 questions, $1 million. It's just that easy. To audition to be a contestant, sign up at MillionaireTV.com.